Okay, so recently a question was asked that what is the difference between minimal leak technique and inclusive leak technique, which is also known as minimal occlusive volume. So understand that both the techniques are used to inflate the cuff of the endotracheal tube or tracheostomy tube and used specially when we don't have pressure manometer available to monitor the pressure of the endotracheal cuff. So uh, what happens in minimally leak technique? So understand that when we put an endotracheal tube or tracheostomy tube in a patient and we connect it to the ventilator without the cuff being inflated, whenever there is a peak inspiration and whenever uh, there is expiration, you will hear a leak sound because of the air coming around the endotracheal tube through the trachea, you will hear a leak sound. At this point, you start uh, pushing the air in the endotracheal cuff and slowly and slowly when you're pushing the uh, air and the cuff is getting inflated, there will come a time where you will not hear the leak sound. It means the cuff has sealed the trachea, the, uh, the endotracheal tube, and there is no air leak. Now, at this point, just deflate the cup, just pull back a little bit of air back. So there is a minimal leak. So this is called as minimal leak techniques. So what is the benefit? So because the pressure is not so much, because there is a minimal leak, the pressure is not so much and the trachea will be uh, protected. It will not have pressure necrosis. But the, uh, uh, but the uh, problem is it will, uh, will be a source of little bit of aspiration because of that leak. While in inclusive leak technique, uh, what happens you keep on inflating the cuff and the moment you uh, feel that now there is no leak sound uh, from the endotracheal tube you stop there so it means the uh, cuff has sealed the endotracheal tube in the uh, in the trachea so there is no leak so the benefit of this uh, uh, technique inclusive leak technique is there is no risk of aspiration there because there is no leak no risk of aspiration from the uh, secretion trickling down but at the same time there is a risk of this cuff putting a pressure on the trachea so it could be a pressure necrosis but, uh, so it is also known as minimal occlusive volume but these two should be used when you don't have pressure manometer available to pressure the monitor of the endotracheal cuff or tracheostomy cuff so uh, i hope this clarifies do read more about it